Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and we're back with Jazz Punk, and oh my goodness, they spelled favourite correctly. Oh my god, well done, they've actually succeeded in spelling for once, because as we established, there's a certain country in this world that is incapable of spelling. Anyway, uh, we've got some more missionil, more, I'm sorry, missionil amphibamine dextrose. The date is, of course, the 17th of September 1959b. John Doe, issued by Dr. Homer Dudley. We've seen all this before. So, let's head to the... what translates as the Golden Lucky Electric Squid. And these doors don't open. Very sadness. But, as I mentioned in the last episode, we're into an area now that doesn't really have much in the way of side stuff. Has some side stuff, but nowhere near as much as the Soviet consulate area. So, well, we're here at yet another train station, and... I'm not sure how to describe this place. I'd say it's like Chinatown, except it's Japan Town. But then again, the whole world seems to have gone a bit Japanese Chinese in this parallel world. So, in fact, is there a name? Nope, just Metro Transit. Um, I'll translate the rest of it in post. Not that stuff, though. Too many kanji. I'm just too lazy. Anyway, yeah, that, that was accurate Japanese, by the way. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. It's a side thing. No, yeah, looks all right, I suppose. Um, it reminds me of a delicacy I had in Turkey by the name of Tavuk Shish. Ew. Wait, hang on, how, how could... Miso? How could... But Miso is not like a soup or something? Is that a euphemism for something? Because I mean, they have that Animal Crossing as well. I do not even want to know what this is. Have some monkey water in your face. Yes, you have. Why you click on me? Why you click And that's all that's left there. Like like that's the kind of flavour of side stuff that's in this um in this area. There's not much like nowhere near as much as in the the first area. Well hello. <laughs> I get it. Well then I won't. Nice lipstick though. What about you? You're a person. You don't do anything. You're pissing lines, good sir. Can I help you? Take my advice. Never out of dark your underwear. I get it. Uh, can you spare a bite to eat? I get that, definitely. I'd like to drink motor oil. And that's enough of you. Uh, there is a side quest coming up on the right. Oh, hello again. Legitimate farm's milk. You're totally not following us. Um... Uh, where's the... Also, these things are things I will translate in post as well. Be thankful that I speak Japanese. And there's another hint phone by the look of it. Wait, no. It's a... It's a... Cash machine. I forgot the word for cash machine for a second then. Um... Here we go. Can I help you? My thrash shop has been infested with vases. I mean, opposite of that. Huh. <laughs> anyway... Most of the Japanese you'll hear in this area is an accurate, is actually accurate Japanese. Anyway, we're supposed to be getting flies, but let's just destroy everything. Just because it would be a wasted opportunity. We'd be remiss not to destroy everything in a vase shop, considering we've been given the opportunity. Isn't it? And hey, maybe we can get some sort of insurance fraud out of it as well. And it's really disorienting because, well, first of all, because that fly had landed on nothing. But, um,. Because I'm actually hearing all the audio on ever so slight delay, and that, that's that's the only downer of using Bluetooth headphones. Because, like, I didn't want to get into the my headphone story, because I did have a really good pair of headphones. That actually, like, they were really good sound quality, but they were, like, really cheap. I got them from Sweden, and they were the equivalent of, of less than £20, I think. <laughs> yes, yes, a thing complete. Yes, you're in debt. Well, allow me to finish. Finish what I started. But I had these really good headphones, and they came with like a really long cable, like a ridiculous, like, like I'm not good at estimating, I think like two meters maybe? And it was really good sound quality, but it was really cheap, and... There we go. You're welcome. Anyway, um... Like, in this country, if you buy cheap headphones, the quality's shit, but the manufacturing's fine. If you do that in Sweden, the quality's really good, but the man like, manufacturing is awful, whereas here, the sound quality's shit and the manufacturing's decent. 
Okay. So, anyway, the, the point is, the manufacturing was crap because they were cheap, and they broke, and then I had to get some cheapo ones from a local pound shop. And they, like, they, they felt like they were trying to forcibly reshape the inside of my ears. They were really painful to wear, but they were just a temporary fix. In fact... Okay. Um, they were a cheap fix. I, I, I bitched about them during my LPF Dash Detective 2.5. And... Uh, I'm getting so sidetracked because I thought it was warm... It was cold enough for me to put on a shirt. Apparently not. Anyway, the point is I have Bluetooth headphones now and they're on a slight delay. So sometimes... Sometimes it's worse than others. Anyway, you're a person. Try electric squid at your three o'clock. Well, that is our destination, so let's fuck around a bit some more. Some more, a bit. Soup. Thank you. Soup, soup, but tasty soup, soup, a spicy carrot and coriander, a chili chowder, crouton, crouton. Crunchy friends in liquid broth, I am Gaspaccio, oh, I am a summer soup, oh, miso, miso, fighting in the dojo, miso, miso, oriental prince in the land of soup. So this you. Well, that was fun. Now, I feel like maybe there was one of these that I missed in the Soviet consulate area, but I don't know. Blank must have Vidicon. Might as well return the tape because it's right there. I feel like there's one in the first area that I missed, and I felt like that on my first playthrough as well, and I know my commentary's all over the place. You know what, I'm gonna cut for a second while I take off my shirt. I bet you couldn't even tell that was a cut. Now then, uh, Golden Lucky Electric Squid, this is our destination, and that is adorable. Hello, lady with the face. No, you welcome. Wait, what? Hello. Again, accurate Japanese. Here, have my shoes. I love that sound effect. I will be your dedicated server tonight. Is that a pun because jazz punk? Irishimase! But yes, Irishimase is that that's that thing that they shout when you go into a Japanese place and this is welcome. I'm guessing that's just a translation. Excuse the fuck out of me, I was saying something. I think that's just a straight translation. Um Me in post, feel free to correct that correct me. Also, I am a terrified of spiders. I don't recall asking you, but, um... Anyway, here's a jar. And we've got a counter. And... Well, there you go. We need at least five spiders to scare off this bugger and get into the kitchen, because our target is this guy, we need to get a kidney out of him somehow. And we're in a restaurant, so take five guesses. Uh, uh, no, t t the first four don't count, because you normally only take three guesses. Just try and guess how we're going to get a kidney out of this fucker. Hey, I can not words today. It's It's deceptively warm. It's it's warmer than I thought it would be. And... Danse no te arai. Hello, spider. You're mine now. Not quite as, as bad as the spider that was distracting me during that part of Honey... I remember which part of Honey Pop it was, because I recorded episodes 2 and 3 back to back, but there was... Well, hello there. Nope, just a casual spider collector. Up oh, there we go. Now, there are actually either seven or eight, and there's an achievement for getting all of them, and I intend to show off where all of them are. Um, I, don't, I don't remember where they are offhand, but I'll try. Um, I really do not remember offhand. Uh, excuse me while I just jump over the sushi, bu sushi conveyor belt thing. Now, that's five, but that, like, that's all we need to proceed. And I don't think there are any in there, because... Oh, there's one down here. And the conveyor belt actually works as a conveyor belt. Well, that's six anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you, that is the best sushi you get in town. Oh, the only thing here I don't touch is the fugu. Well, fugu is incredibly toxic if not prepared properly. So, once again, three guesses as to how we're going to get his artificial kidney, and the first two don't count. Now, I really want to show off where all the spiders are, but I don't remember offhand, because it's been a while since I got that achievement, because I actually do have every single achievement in this game because I love this game. It's good and delightfully weird. Hey, My Coventry feels like shit as it's coming out of my face. Where, where... Like, I've got six of the fuckers. Where is it? Also, can I just point out that the spiders in this game are, like, unnecessarily realistic. Oh, there's one. 
I could splat it with the thing, but no. I don't remember if there are eight or seven. I'm going to just assume that there are seven? Um, I'm not seeing any more, and I'm not particularly fan of the concept of going out particularly looking for them, so... Excuse me, sir, would you mind holding these? Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fair response. I feel like maybe there's one of them... Like, one of the spiders. Yep, there's the other. There's the one that I missed. Because I was too bloody impatient. There we go. Yeah, you can just keep dying. See, the thing is, my mother is an arachnophobe. But I'm not. But people, like, my father especially likes to think that I am. No. Like, my father likes to think that I am, but I'm not. I just really fucking hate spiders. Yeah, well, you can shut up. You are not a professional swatter. Shut up. You have bestowed blindness upon me. That's what you get. And you as well, because I'm feeling destructive. I have been defiled. And now for a sequence. Yeah, we, we, you get to watch from the sushi's point of view as we feed Fugu, poorly prepared Fugu, to a guy who doesn't like Fugu anyway, and that's poisonous at best, so we'll see how this turns out. I'm going to If only you could see the faces I was making just now. Well, it'd be remiss of us not to go back and check up on him. And... Men's toilets? Nothing there, which can only mean in the Jose no Terai, because that's Japanese for women's toilet. Well... Okay. Something tells me that this wasn't your average game of Splatoon. Anyway, giant artificial kidney. I will never get tired of, of that sound effect. Anyway, um, considering that we've been traced by them, those legitimate farms milk vans, I, I feel it prudent to keep a, a weapon in position just in case something happens. We're good, thanks. That reminds me, though. On the subject of Americans. Okay, they... Crashed... Uh, oh, apparently... Okay, so they crashed a blimp. I crashed through the letters. And this is actually Darlington. Because we're going back to the same station that we started out in. Hmm. Also, I did mention, we took out his brain but ate a sandwich in the process. My ear, nose, and throat feel so uncongested. Humbly. Anyway. Like I said, prudent to keep a weapon out. Hand over the wetware. Hand over your face. And you. Spare me. Well, if you insist. Bowling jokes! Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I was going to complain about how Americans can't pronounce the word parmesan. Like... Do you think we're just... D shut up. Uh, like... They, they pronounce it parmesan. Well, it's spelled with an S. Like, you seem to be... You put that away. You seem to be confusing... Parmesan with Parmigiano Italiano, which is a different type of cheese entirely. But that's enough me about this. Is that the, that's enough of me ranting about Americans. I did plenty of that in Touch Second Two and a Half. Exactly. Um. Anyway, this is an escape sequence, except it's not really much of one. There's an actual bowling pin, and one of them's facing the wrong way. Nope. I don't think you can fail the sequence, by the way. So. This is your last chance. We've tried to reason with you. Reason with this. And you. And you as well. Please don't hurt me. I like you. But you're still going to suffer. Anyway. Where were we? Ah, yes. Another random Japan interlude. Now, I will say that the Koi Pond sequence in the last bit... Uh, that reacts weirdly no matter who's playing. Like, uh, for Lucajin, it completely crashed a game. Uh, for me, it drops frames like a motherfucker. Just want to show off that there's nothing here apart from the inside of this shrine, and there's also a guy down there for some reason. Don't think, don't think you can interact with him. And the, the only thing we have is this candle, you can't swap it out, you, you know, we don't have bread to throw at people. But what we do have is a candle and a shrine, so we should probably pay the proper respects, because this has everything to do with everything. Um, yeah, like the incest. Delicious. And Neil 
Bang the gong. That was disappointing. I'm going to edit in a better gong sound effect in post. Fantastic work. Now I can finally make my steak and kidney pie. Um, that last job seems to have attracted us a bit more heat than usual. You don't say. I have to wait for things to cool down a bit. In the meantime, um, I'll set you up with a vacation. You do realise that we're being flooded, don't you? And also, Old we... Paid trip to we, resorts. we led the now, aggressors on, right please. towards us. You look like you could use it. You don't say. Well, I'm not going to show off the current screen that I'm on, but I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons, and in the next episode... We're going to take a good old-fashioned trip to, well, he's, he said it himself, Kaitak Resort, which I think is a pun on the Japanese Takai, which means expensive or tall, but we'll get to that when we get to that. See you in the next one. And also apologies for the quality of my commentary in this episode.